Okay, now, this species of oak is the pin oak. A great indicator are these thin leaves. Keep in mind that acorns come from oak trees, right? These are the little acorns that accompany or come from the pin oak. There are plenty of species of oak out there, which means lots of acorns to survive upon. And that, my friends, is an oak gall. There are tons of species of oak galls out there. In fact, there are thousands of species of galls worldwide. Some of them come from certain types of fungus and stuff, infecting a plant or whatnot. Other ones are galls that are created by things such as aphids or even tiny little wasps. Those are other videos. I've got some older videos from a couple years ago, and I'll include links to those right here. Now I'm gonna dissect one real quick so that we can see what type of gall this is. This is actually the larva of an oak leaf gall midge. As you can see, their larva is bright orange. This little grub will spend the fall and all of the winter developing within this gall. It'll emerge in early spring and the adult looks a little bit like a long-legged fly or a bit of a mosquito. And in fact, they're very difficult to identify as adults. So I really hate disturbing that little grub like I did, but I did it so I could show you viewers what actually lives inside those galls. There was a little pond nearby with some fish in it that were pretty hungry. So it didn't go to waste. And well, just to let you know, for survival purposes, grubs can actually be very nutritious. You'd be thanking your lucky stars if you found one during a survival situation. I've actually had them before, and I have to admit, they're pretty good if they're actually sauteed or fried up with a little bit of butter. And the acorn grubs are particularly delicious. I've even had those little grubs that you find in beehives, and they taste a little bit like wax and pollen. I'm just saying. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.